One Piece 1084 proved to be a lore-heavy chapter, and it delivered greatly when it comes to the Kingdom of Arabasta. Fans already know this land to be filled with great history and, back in the Arabasta arc, it was revealed that this place even houses a poneglyph, which only added to its mysterious allure. Now, more history has been revealed about this place, and, much to the surprise of the fans, this reveal has proven to be groundbreaking. One Piece 1084 saw fans take a dive into the events of the Void Century, although only at a surface level. A very intriguing person was introduced to the fans, and this person was none other than the monarch of Arabasta, Nefertari Lily, the queen of the country at the time. While things such as her appearance as well as her life remain shrouded in mystery, Oda laid down an outline for her character in this chapter, and it is certainly a very interesting addition to the lore of the Nefertari family. The Nefertari monarch of the past. Shortly before the reverie began, Cobra mentioned that he wanted to discuss things pertaining to the former kings of Arabasta with the five elders. For this reason, he called a meeting with the elders shortly after the seven warlord system was abolished. With him, Cobra had Pell and Shaka, however, he alone was to meet with the five elders. As such, he ordered Pell and Shaka to go out and guard Princess Vivi instead. When Cobra met with the five elders, he had some shocking questions for them. Cobra dove into the events of the Void Century straight away. He mentioned that he has studied the historical texts and information of his country dating back hundreds upon hundreds of years, going all the way back to the Void Century. After the conclusion of the Void Century, the world government was finally created, thanks to the 20 rulers of the time who banded together to destroy the ancient kingdom and their allies, also known as the Founding 20. When Mary A. Joy was established and the empty throne was placed at the center of the world, the 20 rulers laid down their weapons in front of the throne as a sign of respect for its integrity and acknowledging the fact that no ruler is above the other and that the world has no true rulers. This gave the 20 rulers equal power and, subsequently, they moved to Mary Ajoy to live their lives as celestial dragons. Their kingdoms were assigned new rulers and all their historical names were erased thereafter so as to ensure a smooth transition. However, one ruler, in particular, did not become a celestial dragon, and this person was none other than Nefertari Lily, the monarch of the land of Arabasta at the time. Queen Lily and her fate Queen Lily was revealed to be the ruler of the land of Arabasta around 800 years ago, and she was a part of the band of 20 rulers who fought against the ancient kingdom. However, she was a responsible woman by the looks of it, and she decided to not become a celestial dragon and ignore the plight of her people. Lily decided to go back to the surface and rule at Arabasta, continuing her duties in the process. As such, there are only 19 weapons laid in front of the empty throne currently. According to the five elders, the records that King Cobra came across were entirely accurate. However, the surprising part comes after King Cobra revealed to the elders that, for some reason, there is no mention of Queen Lily after the founding of the world government. In fact, the next ruler of Arabasta was her brother, and he took this role immediately after the founding of the world government. Queen Lily certainly left Mary Ajoy on a journey back to Arabasta, however, she never reached home. Along the way, she met some sort of accident and thus perished. King Cobra sought answers for the tragedy that befell Queen Lily, however. The five elders feigned ignorance and said that this information has been lost to the annals of history instead. Queen Lily's letter. By the looks of it, Cobra came to meet the five elders prepared with a barrage of questions, expecting them to feign ignorance. Cobra then went on to ask them about the true meaning of the D, which startled the five elders. The meaning of the D is a secret that is forbidden from being explored, and the fact that Cobra is curious about it makes him a threat to the world government. In fact, the world government already considers Cobra to be a traitor since he is a part of the Nefertari family, who did not become celestial dragons and, thus, are traitors in their eyes. As such, they only needed an excuse to execute or eliminate Cobra. Another shocking revelation was made immediately after, when Cobra mentioned that he was asking about the D because he found a letter that was pinned down by Queen Lily upon examining the historical texts. This letter is passed down from generation to generation within the Nefertari family of Arabasta, and it has something to do with the people of the D. It is quite clear, however, that this letter does not explain who the people of the D are or what the meaning of the D is. 
is. If it did, Cobra would have known and there would have been no need to ask the five elders. The fact that he does not know means that this D is pretty much a mystery to him as well. Nonetheless, the Queen's letter certainly does mention the D people in some way or form, and it is important enough to be passed down from one generation to another, to be kept alive for centuries upon centuries. Queen Lily and Emu Sadly, the contents of Queen Lily's letter were not revealed by Cobra to the fans. This is due to the fact that immediately after he mentioned this, Emu, the sovereign of the world, stepped inside the throne room. This action of their shock even the five elders, who immediately started telling Emu that they shouldn't come out at the time since Cobra was still in their presence. Emu, clearly, did not care and climbed upon the empty throne. This proved to be a shock for Cobra, as well, as he expected there to be no ruler of the world. The empty throne was sat upon by Emu in front of him, and there, Cobra realized that the world government was evil down to its very core. What's even more surprising is the fact that Emu somehow knew Queen Lily and had something to do with her disappearance or death. What exactly they did or didn't do remains to be seen. The next few chapters of One Piece are sure to reveal the answer to this mystery and, sadly, that will also mark the end of the life of King Cobra as he will be eliminated by either Emu or the Five Elders. His death will then be pinned on Sabo, who will thereafter be known as the Flame Emperor. And in other news, One Piece. The history of the Nefertari family explained. One Piece Chapter 1084 dropped recently and, much to the surprise of the fans, the author of the story, Oda, dove deep into the history of the Nefertari family. This family has been central to the Arabasta arc of the story and has not come into play since, however, fans know that it has great significance attached to it, given that they have ties to the Void Century and the Celestial Dragons. One Piece 1085 explored the connection to the fullest when Cobra met with the five elders and, needless to say, this family just got more interesting than ever before. With their ancient monarchs and family history now being revealed, this family is sure to play a key role in the final saga of One Piece, which is well and truly underway. Fans already know a lot about the Nefertari family, and, from here onwards, Oda might reveal even more details about this mysterious yet extremely important group, Queen Lily of Arabasta. Fans were eagerly waiting for Cobra's meeting with the five elders, and it had been teased for quite a long time, dating before the Egghead arc. After a long wait, Oda finally gave a glimpse of this event of monumental proportions to the fans, and it is safe to say that it did not disappoint in any way. Once Cobra met with the five elders, he made it pretty clear that the ancient texts in Arabasta have a record of the history from even 800 years ago and before that. That is precisely how Cobra knew that Queen Lily used to rule the land of Arabasta 800 years ago and that the kingdom was actually a queendom at the time. It is abundantly clear to the fans that a war was fought during the Void Century and the ancient kingdom and their allies lost this war. What role exactly the Nefertari family played in this war remains to be seen, however. What fans do now is that at the end of the war, the world government was created by 20 monarchs, who then swore to not vie for extra power over one another. What's more, to prove their equality, they put the weapons in front of the empty throne, which was to be a symbol of sorts. Despite being one of the 20 monarchs, Queen Lily was not one of the people who took this oath, as she believed that she needed to return to the land of Arabasta and continue her rule. As such, she did not place her weapon in front of the empty throne. Instead, she decided to go down to continue her rule, however. She never made it back to Arabasta, and there are no records of her following her visit to Mary Ajoy. The lack of records is a clear implication that her rule stopped there, and that she died. After her demise, her brother took up her duties and, thus, Arabasta became a kingdom. The Letter of Queen Lily According to Cobra, this was quite suspicious, and he asked the five elders why this was the case. Cobra wanted to know what exactly happened to Queen Lily since her sudden disappearance and the vanishing of her mentions from the history of Arabasta was rather bizarre. This was one of the biggest reasons why he came to the reverie, as he believed that they would have the answers that he was looking for, however. Little did he know that they would be of no use. As expected, the Gorise chose not to answer, and simply feigned ignorance. It is highly likely that they know the answer to this question, but chose not to tell him, because they were directly involved in whatever happened to Queen Lily. 
According to the Gorosei, this whole thing happened 800 years ago, and the truth about this matter is now lost in history. That is precisely where Cobra posed another intriguing question to the five elders, and asked them about the meaning of the D. As fans would remember, information about the D is forbidden, and even researching it is a crime that warrants death immediately. Expectedly, this startled the five elders as it came out of nowhere, however. The meaning of the D seems to have a deep meaning in relation to Queen Lily as well. While this might not be evident at first, looking more into the words of Cobra, it is clear that the D and Queen Lily are somehow related. As soon as he asked that question, the Gorosei wanted to know why he asked this, and Cobra replied that the truth of the matter is that a letter had been pinned down by Queen Lily a long time ago. This letter has been passed down from generation to generation, and it likely has to do something with the people of D and holds a great secret about them. That said, it clearly does not hold the truth about these people or the meaning of the letter D, because otherwise, Cobra would already know that information. Nonetheless, it certainly has something to do with them, and that is precisely why Cobra was there to ask this question to begin with. Emu and Queen Lily Much to the surprise of the fans, Emu also made an appearance in One Piece 1085. Fans expected Emu to show up at some point in the flashback. Later onwards, however, they abruptly made their presence known in this chapter. And, what's even more shocking is the fact that they did this in front of Cobra. When Emu entered the throne room, even the elders were startled and told them that they shouldn't be doing this, especially since Cobra was right in front of them. Emu's sudden presence shocked even King Cobra, as he didn't believe there to be a true sovereign of the world. But, what was even more shocking was the fact that Emu mentioned the name of Queen Lily. This clearly means that Emu has an idea about Queen Lily and knows who she was. This also alludes to the fact that Emu is actually immortal and has lived for the past 800 years or more, at the very least. Judging from their size, might even be a teen with some sort of connection to Queen Lily. Emu then proceeded to sit upon the empty throne, and it is highly likely that they will answer the questions about Queen Lily in the upcoming chapters, which is something that greatly excites all fans of One Piece alike. It wouldn't be a surprise for the fans to know if the two had some sort of close relationship, blood or otherwise. The matter of fact is that Emu was directly responsible for the death of Queen Lily, however. How exactly her death panned out is something that fans are yet to see. The Nefertari family has been searching for answers ever since then, and it is up to Cobra and Diddy to find out the truth and bring justice to not just Queen Lily, but the people of Arabasta as well. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.